testing at least some peaks of sunshine. You can see here from Sandy Moser, we're going to talk a little bit more about those beautiful fall colors. And just a reminder, at the top of your screen, you're going to see that QR code, and that's where you can check out the very local app. You can take a picture of it, and that link will actually come up in your camera screen, too. So take a look at right now. You've got temperatures out there sitting at 47 degrees, and you've got cloud cover out there. That QR code is going to lead you to the very local app, though, to show you where the beautiful fall color is developing right now. Chief Meteorologist Lane Pope has a fall color guide right there for you, so it's pretty easy. Just take a quick snapshot of it. If you haven't already downloaded the very local app, make it easy for you. We got 62 degrees in Blues Lake, and you can see winds are calm at the moment. Dew points, though, down in the 40s, so we're fairly dry. It's those clouds that are coming through the mid-levels that are rolling in. You can see beautiful out there, though, still, with temperatures that have warmed nicely with that morning sunshine all the way into the 60s. Still, though, a northerly flow kicking in those clouds all the way east to Graham right now. You've got temperatures at 63 there, just beautiful skies. 47 currently in the mountains. We've got temperatures at 53 at least this afternoon. We're optimistic at least. We do have some overcast skies on those western slopes, though, from Boone through Blowing Rock and in Sparta. You've got a little sunshine. You've got 62 in areas like Mount Airy. 62 at least for those afternoon highs, if not a few more degrees before all those clouds just settle in as they're trying to do right now. Your temperatures overnight down into the low 40s and upper 30s there. And in the triad, we've got you at 63. Hopefully, we'll make it to 64, even though the clouds are starting to thicken right now. 45 for morning lows. And look at this gorgeous sunrise in Boone today. Appalachian State University view. You can see, yeah, through all the clouds, there are still some pops of color on those trees out there. But it is harder to see when we've got over those overcast conditions at the moment. Ennis and Allegheny County, Sandy Moser. This is one of my beautiful favorite shots that I love seeing coming in on our You Local North Carolina Facebook. Share all of your color fall color photos there too for us, and we'll share them with you. Frank Marini last night, though, as a mist was coming in, luckily we didn't have the flurries across the Piedmont Tribe, but in Clements, he captured this beautiful rainbow. It was actually a double rainbow out over the ball field there. Just love that shot. And you can see here that other end of the double rainbow just setting up nicely for folks last night. So nice to have it, even though we've had cool conditions. We've got more moisture moving in in the form of clouds today. You saw that dry spot rolling through that allowed the sunshine this morning. By this weekend, we talk about rain chances late on Friday. This is when we're expecting to see those scattered showers fill in already for middle of the day in the mountains and the foothills by late afternoon and evening. Just as we might be getting to some of those high school football games, it does look showery. It looks overcast and those rain chances may continue overnight into your early Saturday until we kick out some of those clouds and bring up some sunshine for you. So it looks like most of our Saturday is dry and a few lingering showers may be possible, but it's already impacting yeah, some of those games out there for the weekend as we get into your Friday. Check those high school football games. Upper 60s for you, though, to near 70 later this week and breezy this weekend. At least we're dry, even though temperatures will run below normal.